Hey all, I hope you are doing great. Saboni here. I have come back with another tutorial on API Gateway. So in this series, I'm going to talk about what API Gateway is and the different integration and different things that you can do and implement using this service. So previously, we have discussed about HTTP integration in my last uh, tutorials. Currently, I'm going to show how you can achieve an integration with a Lambda function. If you develop a function that has a service that you have hosted uh, with a bunch of functions, you can basically expose them with the help of API Gateway Lambda integration. So there are two types of integrations for Lambda. One is a custom integration and another is a proxy integration. So as we discussed in the last tutorial, that proxy integration denotes that API Gateway is going to act as a proxy. So whatever request from the client end is going to get, your Lambda is going to consume that and get the entire requests along with the headers and parameters and everything but in case of custom integration you can basically uh, work upon what do you want specifically to reach to your lambda function so basically some filtrations and also modification of the inputs can be achieved in that case so i'm going to demonstrate uh, both the integration here i will be creating quickly a rest api for you folks so here is the name let's give test lambda and the endpoint type i have chosen as regional let's create the api okay once the api is created we can create a resource here say for example uh, lambda lambda resource and let's create the resource and here in the name we can create a method and let's create a post method here currently you could see that even in the bombay region ap south one i do not have a function to integrate with so let's you can either click on this to create a function or from the search button or from the bookmark links i we can create a lambda function here so let's go to the lambda management console and since there's no function let's create one so let's i i generally prefer the python runtime so i would be creating a test function here and this is the set of permissions it's basically denotes the role that my function is going to assume in order to perform the sets of actions that we want so by default if you do not uh, select any anything here the radio button is at uh, this specific option it's automatically selected that it lambda service creates a role on your behalf providing the basic permissions to push and upload the logs in the CloudWatch logs okay and in the advanced settings if I go you will be getting other options like whether you want to enable the function URL which is a new feature of the functions and whether you want to enable tag or code signing or in case you want to associate your function with the VPC let's create the function quickly yes so in order to go ahead of uh, the first things first we can do here is print the event whatever my function is getting let's deploy the same once the deployment is done let's test it with test event let's save it let's click on the test here i could see the event whatever being received which is the test event my function is running executing that and uh, in case you want uh, the event payload to play around uh, something you can definitely go ahead and do that so let's go to the api gateway console here and uh, let's search for the test function since we can't get it directly so sometimes you might need to load the page here once that is done and you click you could see that your function pops up here and let's save it so initially i'm not going to select this proxy integration so here you see the request that will be basically would be proxied and then the entire request will be available in the event of your function let's see if this so it would be asking for certain permissions whether you are allowing API Gateway to invoke a Lambda function on behalf of you. It's going to add certain resource policy at the Lambda end. Once you have created it, you can uh, test it out from here. So it's expecting for a request body. Let's give it something like this. And you can basically pass certain query string parameters in case you want certain headers. And this is the request body so these are certain execution logs that you could that you would be able to see you see here this is where my api gateway api is actually calling out the lambda function that i created 
in the same region and you could see that it it tried to send a request and it received a successful response and once the successful the response is being received along with the certain uh, response headers and the response body since i am not uh, doing anything with the uh, transformation of the response body will come to those part later on like how transformation can be done so here i could see whatever being sent by the integration that is being sent back to the client which is basically me and these are certain endpoint headers method headers that the client is going to receive with method completed with status 200 okay cool so let's go back here to notice some some things here so what we are going to do is let's go to the monitor section i'm going to see the lambda logs uh, what are the execution logs that are coming up for this specific invocation and for that i would be clicking on view logs in cloudwatch yes and the logs are available now you could see here this is the automatic uh, auto generated logs that get created lambda actually creates these logs on behalf of you with each invocation of your function and you could see that these are the two log initially what we sent is the event which was the test event since it's a non-proxy integration basically a custom integration so whatever event we are passing only that event body is sent no additional headers or anything is being sent so let test out test it out here with a test button uh, with the body and certain query string parameters say val1 equal to test1 and let's try to send uh, an header here uh, say for example xyz colon one two three so we are trying to same certain custom headers let's see how it behaves in that case so if i scroll down here i could see it's a successful response okay let's go back to the function logs to see what is the event that got captured let's see if the latest logs po has popped up here or not yes i could see that only the event body that i have sent is being passed to the backend function so let's try to change one feature here let's see over here in the in case explicitly want to pass something then you have to play around with the query string parameters here under http request headers request bodies etc but in case of uh, a proxy integration so what we will be doing is just marking this checkbox over here and it will allow my api to pass all the headers query string parameters in the, within the event as you could read from here the request would be proxied to the lambda with the request details available in the event of your handler function one important thing to note that in case of a lambda proxy integration your function should return a response in a proper format and the format as you can see on the screen should comprise of these important tags here important parameters of the json mainly so it's going to expect a best 64 encoded key here it which is of the type boolean so it's going to specify whether the body that is being sent is a base 64 encoded or not so there needs to be a status code as well as uh, the body and headers so i have made the corresponding changes in my function and you could see that uh, this is the thing that i am returning my function is returning okay so i'm sending a custom header which is uh, a custom header and the value is test and there's the body hello there and is base 64 encoded i have kept it as false with status code 200 let's try to invoke it from the api gateway end so again i am passing the test lambda uh, the query string parameters here with certain custom headers and the request body i will be invoking the specific endpoint here and i could see that i am getting a successful response here with the value of header as well so i'm getting a custom header with value as test and also you could see here from the logs that the response body before transformation this is the response body being sent by your function and uh, here is the final response body method response that's sent to the client okay so i believe that's all from my end today i hope you, you got some basic idea about what a proxy integration is when it comes to a lambda integration so we discussed about and demonstrated 
uh, both the custom integration as well as the proxy integration in this case and the next tutorial i am going to cover some important concepts before going out further with uh, the flow so which is about this uh, each of the blocks as you could see on the screen method request integration request method response and the integration response and how each uh, has a specific feature which you can actually modify and we are also going to cover about models and mapping templates in the forthcoming lessons i hope this much uh, at this point of time you are having a clear understanding of uh, what type of lambda integration what is basically a lambda integration is and how you can achieve it let me know how you are enjoying uh, these sessions and put your comment in the comment section of this video i hope you are enjoying it have a great day ad. cheers bye bye for now mm -hmm.